Imagine this. You're scrolling through your social media feed, laughing at a funny video completely unaware of the invisible hand in your pocket. This hand belongs not to a pickpocket, but to the digital realm. Every like, share, and comment you make is being meticulously recorded, analyzed, and transformed into a new form of currency, your personal data. Companies, both large and small, are hungry for this data, eager to exploit it for profit. What we often fail to realize is the sheer volume and granularity of information being collected. It's not just about what we buy or where we go, it's about understanding our deepest desires, our unspoken needs, and our vulnerabilities. Take for instance, the seemingly innocuous act of liking a friend's post about their new running shoes. This simple click, combined with data points like your browsing history and past purchases, could trigger a cascade of targeted advertising. Suddenly you're bombarded with ads for running gear, fitness trackers, and marathon sign-up forms. This might seem harmless, even convenient, but it reveals the insidious nature of data collection. We are entering an era where our digital footprints are more valuable than gold, where our every move is tracked, analyzed, and leveraged for profit. The depth and breadth of data collection often extend far beyond what users consciously realize. While privacy policies and terms of service agreements exist, their lengthy and convoluted nature often discourages users from truly understanding the extent of data being gathered. Consider the rise of smart home devices. These seemingly helpful gadgets, from voice assistants to internet-connected appliances, are constantly listening, learning, and transmitting data about our daily routines. The seemingly harmless act of asking a smart speaker to play your favorite song can reveal a wealth of information about your musical tastes, your sleep schedule, even your emotional state. Furthermore, the increasing use of facial recognition technology adds another layer to this invasive data collection. The Cambridge Analytica scandal, where personal data from millions of Facebook users was used to influence voter behavior, serves as a stark warning about the potential misuse of personal information. At the heart of this data-driven ecosystem lies artificial intelligence AI. This powerful technology, with its ability to analyze vast data sets and identify patterns, has become the engine of data manipulation. AI algorithms are constantly crunching data points, searching for correlations and connections that can be used to predict and influence our behavior. By analyzing your digital footprint, AI can predict your needs, desires, and even your vulnerabilities. This allows companies to tailor their products, services, and messaging to appeal to your specific psychological profile. This level of personalization can be incredibly effective, creating a sense of tailored convenience that can be hard to resist. However, it also raises serious concerns about manipulation and control. When AI algorithms are used to exploit our psychological vulnerabilities, we risk becoming puppets in a digital game we don't fully understand. Moreover, the use of AI in data analysis can perpetuate and even exacerbate existing societal biases. The allure of a personalized digital experience comes at a steep price. As AI algorithms curate our online worlds, we risk becoming trapped in echo chambers of our own making. These filter bubbles, as they are often called, shield us from dissenting opinions, limit our exposure to diverse perspectives, and reinforce our existing biases. While this might create a comfortable and predictable online experience, it can also lead to intellectual isolation and a distorted view of the world. The constant bombardment of personalized content can lead to a kind of information overload, making it difficult to discern fact from fiction, truth from manipulation. We risk becoming passive consumers of information rather than active and engaged citizens. The polarization we see in many societies today is exacerbated by these online filter bubbles, making it more difficult to have productive conversations and find solutions to pressing problems. The rise of the data economy presents us with a Faustian bargain convenience and personalization in exchange for our privacy and autonomy. Every time we use a free app, sign up for a loyalty program, or even browse the internet, we are engaging in this barter. For many, the convenience and benefits of personalized services outweigh the perceived risks to privacy. However, this line of thinking ignores the potential for misuse, abuse, and unintended consequences. Reclaiming control over our data requires a fundamental shift in our relationship with technology. We must move beyond the passive acceptance of data collection as an inevitable consequence of digital life and demand greater transparency, accountability, 
and control over our personal information. The future of our digital lives hangs in the balance. Will we continue down the path of unchecked data exploitation, where our every move is tracked, analyzed, and monetized? Or will we demand a digital world that respects our privacy, autonomy, and fundamental rights? The choice is ours to make, but we must act now before it's too late. Reclaiming our digital selves begins with awareness. We must educate ourselves about the ways in which our data is being collected, used, and potentially misused. Beyond individual action, we must demand systemic change. This means advocating for stronger privacy regulations that give individuals more control over their personal information. The fight for data rights is not just about protecting our privacy, it's about safeguarding our freedom, autonomy, and right to self-determination in the digital age. If you found this video insightful, please subscribe, like, and share to help spread awareness.